can the UDM take on the radical ANC? If you were to consider what we did when we took Parliament or the Speaker of Parliament to the Constitutional Court calling for a secret ballot that was taking on the ANC, but not only that, many would recall that we are the ones who TKO'd Pense Tlakula at IEC when she was leading IEC when there were least irregularities there and we suspected corruption. Uh, so even though we don't, I think the, the UDM is just not very good at blowing its own trumpet. Uh, we don't claim our victories and successes enough in public, mm. but we do a lot behind the scenes and we are going to continue to do that. So will the UDM go into coalition with the EFF if needs be? We have, uh, the EFF firstly are an important political ally. We work with them very well even here at the National Assembly but would also be willing to work with other political parties as well, as long as the focus is on service delivery and bread and butter issues. What would the reason be that the UDM do not make a firm stance on bringing back the death penalty? It will surely take care of South Africa's murder problems and have an extremely positive influence on crime in general. A UDM government, instead of introducing uh, a death penalty, would have a crime prevention ministry where the crime fighting strategy and the law enforcement agency including the security the entire security cluster when it comes to crime fighting would be coordinated by one ministry how would you deal with the high influx of illegal foreign nationals burdening south africa as the recent government of anc fails to handle this 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 the solution to this problem should be taken at a regional level if there is no better accountability at in regional institutions such as the Southern African Development Community and the African Union and making sure that the member states who are signatories to many charters and treaties on the continent do indeed adhere to their responsible to those treaties but also fulfill their obligations, obligations that emanate from that. Several Omaposa recently asked young South Africans to stop leaving the country and those who have left to come back. Mm -hmm. What is the message you would like to send to those living abroad or those considering the move? Well, look, we would like all patriotic South Africans to remain in the country and to help us rebuild South Africa. I would support the call of those who are saying uh, young people in, in particular mustn't go. But obviously there are those who would leave the country because they want to gain exposure and more experience so that later on they can come back to South Africa and still be able to add value to the system. But those who are not patriotic, they are free to go.